My name is Dr. Van Heulen. I'm a clinical biologist working in a private laboratory in, of Antwerp called the AML, the General Medical Laboratory. I'm working in the microbiology department and we have samples from primary physicians but also from specialists like gynecologists, urologists and so on. So this is a private laboratory and all departments have let's say 12 uh, full-time equivalent of uh, staff but because it is a private laboratory the amount of the number of samples who will arrive here is mostly in the afternoon. Our shifts from our personnel is from the morning till late in the evening. You have two shifts, one till late in the afternoon and one shift from noon till late in the evening. We process different kinds of, uh, of uh, specimens. We have urines, we have uh, feces, we have uh, genital swabs, we have uh, MRSA screening swabs and so on and so on. So the number of, of samples we, we process a day is let's say uh, 400, uh, 400 samples but the analytes or uh, for instance urines you have a sediment or a culture so it uh, means a lot of manipulation of our, uh, of, our pr of our samples. So, just like other Belgian laboratories, uh, we had problems to find uh, well-qualified, well-trained laboratory technicians. Microbiology technicians, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So, besides this problem, we had also the problem of our expansion and growth of our laboratory. To overcome this problem, we looked if automation was a possible solution from, for this. So, just like the clinical chemistry and the hematology departments. So, we looked if a system was available yeah. on the market. Yeah. We looked if a system was available on the market and if this system satisfied our need at that time. So besides COPAN, we looked at the Kistor systems and the Biomaria systems, but finally we chose for the Copan system. Why? Why? The, the, concept, the concept of Copan, the ease of use, the possibility to have a carousel with, for nine different agar media, the possibility to offer different recipients, and the possibility to expand your instrument with a gram stain module or brought in a collator, make us chose for the WASP. First, we implemented for the urine cultures. Because this is a private laboratory, all or most of our samples arrive in the afternoon. So, in the afternoon, we have to process all of these samples in a short time. It's a system that can work 24 hours a day. So, we have to try to optimize the, the whole day that it will work uh, in, the, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So, but because of the structure of our, our, of our company, uh, it was necessary to divide in the morning subculturing, uh, subculturing tubes uh, and in the afternoon uh, to culture urines, uh, urine cups and uh, e-swaps from uh, different origins and so on. Because our urines arrive in recipients of 60 milliliters, so we have to use the turntable of uh, the WASP. This meant that e-swaps can't be processed at the same time. So, but the amount of urine samples was much bigger than the amount of swaps. Urine samples, let's say 120, 140 swaps, 30, 40. So we implemented the urine cultures first. Thereafter, we implemented the e-swaps from genital origin and from uh, MRSI screening. So in the afternoon we can con work continuously with the e-swaps till the afternoon break. Then the technician rebuilt the wasp, puts all the urine samples on the turntable, starts the wasp and have a break. In the morning we use the wasp to subculture selenite broths, 70 a day, to subculture also TSB broths 
for MRSI screening and to subculture uh, limb rods for group B streptococci. So the people love this because they can do meantime interesting work like reading the plates, do identification and susceptibility testing. The, the WASP doesn't work faster than a well-trained technician, but in the meantime, the technician can do more interesting work, like uh, reading the plates, do identifications, do susceptibility testing. So, and another advantage of the WASP is you have a uniform streaking pattern independent of the skill of your technician. So, and um, another advantage is that the people return happy from their break when they see that the WASP have done all the work already. The value of the automation is that people can do more interesting work, not just do a robotic uh, plating or uh, inoculation. Everybody can do this, but uh, laboratory technicians are well-trained people, so you have to respect them and that they do the, uh, their job where they have learned for. The advantage of this machine is you have people free for uh, another job, you have a good traceability also for your samples, and you have a uniform streaking pattern. And that's a major advantage because uh, formerly you have different, dependent on the technician, you could say formerly which technician has, has spread it, the, the, the agar plate, but now it's one uniform always the same same pattern and that's an advantage well in the story in the story of automation in clinical laboratories everybody knows microbiology is the final frontier so with the wasp this is the beginning you have also automation in, 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 for identification susceptibility testing but there is so much more to do like an uh, automatic uh, an incubator automatic uh, reading system so there is a lot of work to do in the automation process and uh, the microbiology